Hello Virgo, welcome to our Timeless Tarot to go. Today we will be doing a crystal ball reading. What we have here, I, I finally call it my crystal garden. It's like, it's like a rock garden, okay? Yeah, you can call it a rock garden also. Uh, yeah, my crystal garden. You, we have here the clear quartz. We have here the labradorite crystal. We have here the glass crystal, which magnifies the other crystals around it. We have here the red jasper, uh, the green fluorite, and finally the rose quartz. Okay. Now, I was consulting the crystals, and uh, these are the messages that we received for you today Virgo according according to the clear quartz no when I was looking at the clear quartz it's very interesting no? I saw somebody looking at a fountain first I thought it was a guy here but no it was a fountain this person was looking at a fountain something like Fontana di Trevi Fontana di Trevi was the second thing that came to me. So a person looking at the fountain and then Fontana di Trevi came to me. Fontana di Trevi is that romantic fountain in Rome, Italy, where people would go, drop a coin or three coins depending on the person, and they make three wishes. Usually the first wish is that they will return to Rome that they will be able to return again to Rome. Usually the second wish is they wish that they will find their true love. And the third wish is usually that they will get married with their true love. Okay, so this is a traditional one. What they do usually, people usually would ask when they go to Fontana di Trevi. I don't know why, it, it just came to me uh, so it was just it, it can be in a general sense that somebody is watching a fountain you know? it's just that for somebody or for some of you maybe specifically you will be going to Fontana di Trevi in the future and maybe you will be making three wishes okay so you try to see if it resonates with you or maybe after a short while, you find yourself looking at Fontana di Trevi and then you will say, Oh, I saw a video that reminded, that told me that I, that I will be in Fontana di Trevi someday. Well, don't forget to make the three wishes. <laughs> now, this Labradorite crystal is very mischievous today. <laughs> he just cracked a joke. He said, um, well, you're already in Rome, might as well see the Pope. <laughs> so that's what I saw here. And then afterwards he, he already shared his what the message for you. The message he wants you to say that is that it's going to be a beautiful day. I don't know what that means. Is it today? Or is it in that day when you will find yourself watching Fontana di Trevi? But he showed us a beautiful, a beautiful day that is dawning, and uh, the sky is blue. The day is bright. It's a beautiful day. Okay, so it can be that today is going to be a beautiful day, or the day you find yourself in front in the before a fountain. It doesn't have to be Fontana Trevi. No, maybe for some of you, it will be Fontana di Trevi. Fontana di Trevi but for some of you it can be just an uh, another fountain it can be another fountain you will find yourself looking there well, when, you, when you find yourself looking there make a wish yes make a wish now this big crystal ball what I saw for you is a big sunflower the sunflower is a, for me, symbolizes somebody who is constantly aware of the loving presence of the divine in their life. A sunflower would gaze at the sun, which can symbolize the divine, 
from the rising of the sun to the setting. In a certain sense, it is related to the Labradorite crystal here. They say it's going to be a beautiful day. I think it's going to be a beautiful day where you will feel that you are loved by the divine. And I feel you will have that thankful that what next came to me is having that thankful spirituality that because you feel that you are loved and the divine is in your life, I think you can't help but say thank you to the divine. Okay, now the rose quartz is very interesting. <laughs> First, the rose quartz showed me a box with something shiny inside. It's still, I can still see it right now. I don't know if it's a figurine or something. It can be a gift you might receive, okay? Something inside the box, okay? It can be a gift that you might receive. And what I saw next are a french, fr french fries and shake. French fries and shake. I don't know if, the, if it is a milkshake. It's something like a shake, okay? <clears throat> so, french fries and shake. Okay, maybe, I don't know if it's related to seeing the fountain, eating french fries and shake, receiving a gift. Okay, it's quite, uh, or maybe today you will, <clears throat> somebody will treat you to a fast food. Yeah, well, this is tarot to go, no? <laughs> maybe right now you are watching this one and uh, you're taking your lunch break and you're taking french fries and shake and maybe you receive a free gift from the fast food <laughs> or somebody gave you a gift today it can be the universe also maybe you will find the package suddenly there you will receive a gift okay i think yeah maybe that's it maybe you will receive a gift but it's quite unusual i see french fries and shake a milkshake maybe okay now with regards to the fluorite I saw a man or a person I don't know if it's a man or a woman uh, reclining on sort of like a rock as if resting <laughs> maybe just enjoying the beauty of everything that the person is seeing so it can be a person who just, uh, you know, enjoying himself or herself. Maybe watching the fountain? I don't know. I just saw a person reclining as if resting on something. Okay. I don't know if it's a rock or a chair or a couch. Just relaxing. Okay. Taking some rest. With regards to the red jasper, this is quite interesting. I could peer through the crystal and what I see, uh, it was difficult for me to try to understand what is the message. First, the first thought that came to me, I usually trust the first thoughts, no? Uh, the first thought that came to me was, uh, it's as if you will be able to peer through what is hidden uh, in the person uh, you will see the person the inner the person that is within i don't know who this person is it's just that there is somebody whom you will get to know for who they truly are within we always wear masks all of us wear certain masks uh, that is the one that we present to the world but we also have that special self that is hidden within us that self that we don't easily reveal to other people well you will be able to see the inner the, the the self that is within this person whoever this person is i still do not know who this person is but you will get to know somebody uh the true person within you will be able to see through the mask 
and really see the person for what they truly are. I don't know if this person will reveal it to you because they somehow trust you or maybe they consider you as somebody special. Hmm. Who knows, maybe it could be already this special someone you wished for in the fountain. Hmm. So just take how it resonates with you. Now as I peer through this crystal going inside, I see what looks like a room with a fireplace. Okay, so there's a room where there's a dark uh, rectangular thing there what comes to my mind is a fireplace so warm and cozy comes to me right now could it be that this person is somebody warm and cozy that uh, yeah they are like a when you get to know the person you realize that this person is warm and cozy because I feel that somehow this person will reveal to you who they truly are. Maybe because they consider you special or they trust you in a special way. And so I saw a fireplace within a room. So if, if this is within this person, then maybe you will discover that it, putting aside all those masks that this person wear, you will discover that this person is a warm and loving person. Well, these are what I can see right now for you, Virgo. Let us try to supplement it with our tarot cards. Mm, yeah. I think it's going to be a beautiful day. I, I could see the sun rising in the horizon from this crystal ball. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day. Yeah, Labradorite also is showing the sunrise. Uh -huh. hmm. Nice one. Okay, the main energy, okay, the main energy is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups symbolizes a happy family life. Okay. Could it be related to this person? Uh, could this be a potential life partner? You try to see if it resonates with you. Something about fountain, something about a gift, something about french fries and uh, milkshakes. Somebody who, maybe somebody, it, it can be somebody's coming into your life, your, your life partner, it can be a soulmate, somebody where you and your future children will be very happy. Or maybe you already found this person and maybe you are celebrating an anniversary. I don't know, it just came to me. Now, everything is okay. Uh, your affairs will be fine. Your affairs are okay right now. Uh, your life is very colorful, multicolored rainbow. Mm. And your family life seems to be very happy right now the universe is going to give you a gift could it be related to that package with something inside mm. or it can be an inspiration or it can be a journey towards a place with fountain mm. and yes you success is on the way or maybe you already succeeded uh, there is a certain success that people will recognize you. Success is on the way. Now there are, it's, well, there are lights and shades in your life right now. There are also areas wherein you are worried. I think you are worried about the opinions of people also at the same time. Some people acclaim you, but also at the same time you are worried about the other people. Uh, maybe you feel that, well, people, maybe people think that you have accomplished a lot of things but maybe for some of you you feel that you have not accomplished well and you are worried about the opinion of other people at this time that you feel you feel you have not completely accomplished but it seems that the universe and the people seem to say you've accomplished a great thing already but somehow you are not convinced by it somehow you feel yeah you can do more. 
you see again the universe is giving you again a gift it's like yeah something that will set you on fire you are receiving a lot of gifts from the universe right now and I, I, I'm not surprised if you are very successful right now but but somehow you need to recognize that you are successful uh, somehow maybe your inner dialogue is saying no I, I, I still need to do more but your exter external reality seems to be saying otherwise well you try to see how it resonates with you now uh, yes you have an inner strength you are oh see you see here again just like the sunflower here uh, you're very much aware of the presence of the divine in your life right now and it's giving you inner strength allows you to face the challenge maybe that's the reason why you felt uh, a little anxious or maybe this is the universe assuring you saying look you can overcome this anxiety you have that ability the universe has your back you can overcome it it can be or it can be that yeah you are successful but you have a sense of uh, yeah feeling that you have, haven't done the best yet but somehow it's like the universe saying you you know you have that capacity to really be a winner mm. You have that inner strength, and the universe has your back. You need to overcome this one, because everything seems to be positive in the cards. You need to overcome this sense of insecurity, this anxiety. I think you are doing just fine, you see? It's as if the universe is saying, look, just enjoy the present moment. Uh, nurture your inner child. Treat yourself, pamper yourself. Try not to be too anxious about certain things. You are successful. Try not to be anxious. You are receiving gifts from the universe. Try not to be anxious. You have that capacity, that inner strength that the universe provides you and the universe has your back. Try not to be anxious. Everything is sunny and beautiful in your life. Try not to be anxious. There are a lot of sunflowers here. Be thankful. Have that thankful spirituality. Believe that things are going well for you. Whatever this anxiety is that is, or whatever this situation that is causing your anxiety, the wheel of fortune turns and things will get better soon. So I think it's just a temporary state, this sense of anxiety, because practically when you look at the cards, majority, all of them are practically okay. The only thing that makes you feel, the, the only thing that here we have here is the Eight of Swords, which is more of an anxiety. So it can only be an interior disposition, but your external situation can be otherwise. You just need to convince yourself that everything is okay. Take some rest, okay? Let go of the anxieties. Take some rest so that you can, again, regain that inner strength. So take some rest, treat yourself. Let go of the anxiety, let the wheel of fortune turn and just bask in the beauty of the sun. Okay, so it can be that these things that you are seeing here is sort of like an invitation, it can be also an invitation of the universe for you to Treat yourself. Go for a walk. Go to a fountain and make a wish. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to be. We, you don't have to go to Fontana Trevi. You can find fountains nearby and you can make a wish. You can imagine it's Fontana Trevi and make a wish. But for those of you who will find yourself going to Rome and seeing Fontana di Trevi, okay, I keep forgetting. Fontana di Trevi, Fontana, Fountain of Trevi, okay, Fontana di Trevi, if you find yourself going there, well, follow the advice of the Labradorite, you're already in Rome, might as well see the Pope, okay, <clears throat> well, that's it for today, I hope somehow it resonates with you in one way or another, uh, let go of this anxiety, that's the only thing that I feel you need to address at this time, and then for the rest, 
enjoy the gifts that the universe is giving you and uh, take some rest and enjoy just enjoy enjoy the sun uh, the song comes to me right what song comes to me right now is here comes the sun here comes the sun and I say it's all right mm -hmm. so it's all right try not to be anxious so that's it for today Virgo thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing I hope that this has helped you in your present journey and uh, I hope to see you again next time until that time may God continue to bless your ways.